Hey everybody. So you might be wondering why I've got this amazing action figure just kind of hanging out. And that is because today I have received my wave two Kickstarter for Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Hopefully you all caught my first review video with wave one. That's where you would have seen me talk about this guy right here and how much I love him as an action figure and just how good the paint and the sculpt is. Now that mace that he's holding actually came with a Mythic Legions figure, but I just love how this figure looks with his knife and holding that mace. So this is definitely going to be one of my probably top five figures of the year. Um, I don't know, maybe he'll get the number one spot, we'll have to see. But enough of gushing about this guy, because what we really need to do here is we need to look at wave two. So included with wave two is the um, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom number four comic book. And you can see there on the cover, we've got our rabbit guy and uh, really, really looking forward to getting him. I believe that's going to be wave four. Now, probably everyone's favorite of wave two is this big boy right here, which is General Thane. Uh, if you read the comic books, I don't want to spoil anything, but this is a really important character. And as you can see, he is a big, hefty boy. And we've got a picture on the side. We've got bio on the back, along with some more artwork. So if you want to know more about this character, you can read the bio there. And then same artwork on the side. So Dane is really, really cool. But actually, probably the one that I was, I don't want to say looking forward to the least, just, you know, these other ones are really, really amazing. So we also have two army builders in this wave. So these are more kind of like the basic version of the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom figures. Um, this is Onyx and Ash. Um, but, you know, even though they have actual names, you can really just use these guys as army builders, or you can do head swaps, you can do armor swaps, you can add your own stuff, um, you know, which I'll kind of talk about a little bit more in this video. Um, so Onyx is very, very Black Panther-esque, and, uh, you know, obviously they can't call him that uh, because of the trademark. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is just, uh, they're called the Ancients figures, which is, you know, they're basically just like a base figure, um, one that you can use as an army builder. Um, but I would kind of want to just call Onyx, you know, just Black Panther and have him be that because really, really looks cool. Now, Ash is, um, I can't remember the, the, the cat that it's based off of, but you'll see the figure here in a second. I'll actually leave him up here. Um, so I guess he's like kind of like a uh, like a, a a lynx or a bobcat type character. It even kind of has almost like a wolf kind of look to it, but it's definitely a cat. So if I leave Ash there, probably the figure that I've been looking forward to the most out of everyone is Lexion. So Lexion is uh, a lynx. Um, I suppose you could almost kind of say a bobcat. I think the only difference is, you know, a lynx has a tail and a bobcat doesn't. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. But you can see that, you know, Lexion here and then compared to Ash, Ash is, you know, the same species, but not the exact same character. Really, really cool looking. And there's just something about the, the look and design of Lexion that just is really, really cool looking. You know, he's got like the, you know, the um, asymmetry with his armor, you know, the orange, and then like there's a little bit of gold. 
just really, really cool. So these two, obviously, they are of the same species, and we'll uh, we'll look at them a little bit more. And then another figure that I've really, really been looking forward to, unfortunately, was not included with my order. I think they just had a little bit of a of a hiccup or a mishap with that one. Um, so uh, they'll just have to send that one to me uh, at a later time. Um, I've already reached out to Spiro Toys about it, um, and I'm sure he'll be along very, very soon. Um, but that was the uh, Feral Beastie, which is the one that's the bright orange. Uh, was really, really looking forward to him as well. Probably maybe my second or third favorite out of this line, at least based on the pictures. But unfortunately, do not have him. But who I do have to show you last is Vero Atlas. So Vero Atlas is uh, a white tiger. Um, and he is uh, a Kickstarter exclusive figure, although I do believe that Spiro Toys is going to have him as also like a convention exclusive, um, you know, just that kind of thing, because it was supposed to be only, um, you know, only a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, so here is the back if you want to read the story. And I know I forgot to show you the back of uh, Lexion because I was so excited to look at the figure. So I did not get uh, Blight or Cordoon. Um, I just, they just didn't really kind of appeal to me. I may pick those up at a later time because, you know, these figures do go for sale on like Big Bad Toy Store and stuff. But I don't know. I just, I, you know, so the, the Cordoon uh, is, um, basically you know like uh i guess like a panther a puma and uh, i just liked onyx better and then um blight i don't want to again spoil anything in the comic book uh but blight is a very very specific character obviously i didn't know who he was until the comic book issue came out um but essentially it's kind of a repaint of pale and i just at the time when i did the kickstarter i was like look i can't go all in i'm just gonna mostly go all in but as you can see you know He's just really, really cool. You know, he's a white tiger and uh, a magician of sorts, if you read the bio. So I'll come back here to Lexion so you can see the back of Lexions. You can read the story there. And again, the wave is there. All right, so I can't wait anymore. Let's open these guys up and take a look at them because they look freaking amazing. All right, so we are back with these Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Wave 2, and we are going to start with my favorite, which is Lexion. So as you can see here, we have Lexion alongside Ash. Um, Lexion is the one that's all armored up. He's got, you know, like the spots on his head. The head sculpt is just gorgeous. It just looks really, really great. Um, these figures, they have such a good feel to them. They, they just feel really high quality. They feel really um, sturdy. Um, I just, it's hard to explain unless you're, you've been a big action figure collector. And to feel these, they just feel different. That's, that's the only way I can describe it. Different in a good way. Um, so the head goes up and down, but then there's also movement kind of down below the neck. So of course you get a lot of good movement and tilt and back and forth with the head because of the, I guess it's called double ball joint. The um, shoulder armor, um, let's see if we can turn. It gets in the way a little bit, but you know, it's not too, too bad. And the arms, obviously this one, the orange one definitely gets in the way a little bit more. You can turn it because it's part of the shoulder, but it's hard to get the arm to go, you know, farther up unless I'm doing something wrong. Um, and we've got the, uh, there's a butterfly joint in there. So you can move it kind of back and forth a little. The elbows are really, really nice. So they're, they're tight, but not too tight, you know, double jointed elbows. He's got all this really cool armor, which is removable if you kind of want to take them apart and, and kind of swap things. So really, really nice ratcheted ab crunch. 
and then a swivel as well and tilt. So it just the articulation on these guys. I mean, just look at that. He looks amazing. And I just I just love these figures. Um, so out at the hip, we have a thigh swivel, which there it goes. It was a little tight and stuck, but it kind of came unstuck pretty easily. Then we got uh, double jointed knees, which just like the elbows, they're tight, but not too tight. And you can see really, really great articulation here. And then, uh, you know, the feet are kind of covered by the armor a little bit, but you can see the feet, they do have little claws on them. And of course we have ankle rocker and we have up and down. The ankles are a little tight and I don't wanna, you know, do any damage <laughs> to it. So, uh, but I mean, just look at how amazing this figure looks and like with the spots and everything. And then Ash, you know, doesn't have the spots. He's much more plain, which he's supposed to be because he's one of the more base figures that you can use as an army builder, or you can swap parts. You can swap the heads on these guys. You can put some armor on him and have less armor on him. Um, really, really cool. Now, what I have been doing with the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, I really do like the comic books and I've really gotten into them. Uh, when I did my first review, I had not yet read the comic books, um, you know, so I, uh, I didn't really know a lot about the characters. I really like the comic books, but I gotta say, I think I am gonna still just kind of stick with my own headcanon with these characters um, because, okay, so perfect example, Lexion, if you read the background, uh, on, on the back of the box. So Lexion's a bad guy. I don't really want Lexion to be a bad guy, honestly. Um, I just love the look of this figure. And, you know, he doesn't have to be a bad guy for, for me, for my purposes. And that's kind of the beauty of this action figure line is you can read the comic books, you can read the mythology. They're even coming out with a, a board game. So you can actually use the figures to play a board game with. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like a almost a Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. I'm not a, a board game guy. I'm not like a, a role play uh, Dungeons and Dragons guy at all. It's just not my thing. Um, so, you know, I think that's all great for the folks that want it. But for me, I just want really awesome anthropomorphic action figures and that's what they are. <laughs> like that's that's it like that's what it is for me so these guys obviously you know they could be brothers they could be enemies they could be whatever and you can do pretty much anything so uh so let me move the camera just a bit here there we go I'm gonna get rid of ash and you know articulation's all the same I mean we don't need to go into crazy you know crazy detail with the articulation but what I want to do is I want to just show you what I mean by how great these are if you collect other toy lines. So if you want to see Lexion next to a typical Marvel Legend figure, so here is the multiple man from the X-Men, and um, like, yes, they're bigger and bulkier, but they should be. You know, these are like animal, you know, these are apes and cats, and, you know, these are more you know, they're not quite seven inches, but they're bigger than six inches. So I feel like they are perfect because, um, okay, so here again, this is a typical regular Marvel Legends body, um, you know, and I think they scale perfectly. So if you are a big uh, G.I. Joe classified collector, here is Lexion alongside Beachhead. And again, you can see that uh, they, I think they scale great because they're bigger, they're bulkier, and I feel like they should be. You know, it's, it's like, you know, compared to a normal human, this is how it should be. I mean, that's how I feel. So one more six inch figure. Here is a Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure. So Dino Thunder Black Ranger. Um, now these guys run even a little smaller in terms of the regular humans, but again, 
I mean, these guys could be bad guys that fight your Power Rangers. If you collect Power Rangers and collect G.I. Joe, they can be bad guys from another planet, another universe, and they can just attack whoever you want them to attack or team up with whoever. So then speaking of Power Rangers, here is the Green Ranger from the Super 7 Power Ranger Ultimates, which are more seven inch scale. And as you can see here, they also scale this way. So if you wanted to put these with your ultimates, they're basically the same size as a normal regular human body would be with your Super 7 Ultimates. Because again, you know, Green Ranger, just a normal regular human. So whether it's Power Rangers or the G.I. Joes or um, Thundercats, which I already did, I did a whole bunch of comparisons with Thundercats because these guys are, for me, they're going to be like the continuation of Thundercats. Um, and I talked about this in my review of Wave 1, um, you know, especially with, you know, um, Tiberius and Atreyu from Wave 1. I mean, they look like they could have been from Thundera. And the same is true for Lexion. Any of the cat characters, they can go with your Super 7 Thundercats and they scale absolutely perfectly. Like, it's really, really awesome. And honestly, I like the AWOC figures a lot more than I like the Super 7 Ultimates. They're more affordable. They are just better quality. They have better articulation. So, you know, it's... Uh, it is what it is, I guess I can say. Um, but yeah, I really love this Lexion. And after unboxing everybody, yep, he's my favorite, just like I thought he was going to be. But speaking of, everybody comes with three sets of hands. So they all, let me see, yep, they all have gripping hands on them out of the box. And they all come with open displayed hands and fists. So you get, you get the same three sets of hands with everybody. So again, gripping hands for the weapons, open displayed hands, and this for everyone. These are the ones that came with Lexion. And these are the ones that came with Ash. So the same, and that makes sense. So if you get, you know, both of them, you can have all kinds of little swapping options okay so the basic figures come with the same three sets of hands as the more deluxe figures do so as far as weapons lexion comes with a crossbow which is really really nicely done um i'm not really much of a crossbow guy so i don't really have anyone posed with any crossbows but this is really really cool and again you can use these weapons with all kinds of different figures. I mean, the, the weapons packs that I got with Wave 1, I've been using those weapons for, uh, you know, Masters of the Universe figures, Marvel figures. I mean, they work with, you know, 5-inch, 6-inch, 7-inch lines. It's really, really fun. Here is the gun that Lexion comes with. So a nice kind of silver paint on this one. Just like I'm not much of a crossbow guy, I'm not much of a gun guy. But I'll tell you what I do love, and it is these weapons right here. So this comes with Lexion. It's a, you know, dagger with a uh, knuckle duster kind of deal. And, oh, man, this is awesome. Like, this is a really, really cool weapon, and I will definitely be posing my Lexion with this knife. I mean, these accessories are just as awesome as the figures are. Um, I mean, I just cannot stop admiring this Lexion figure. I knew that I would love him, but I did not know he would be this amazing. Um, now, let me see here. Yep, this strap on his back, there's just enough room in there to where I believe you could fit a weapon. So there's not really like a pouch to hold it, but you can just kind of put it that way and bam, you are ready to go. And man, oh man. He just, I mean, look at him. He looks so cool, so badass. Yeah, I love this figure. <laughs> he is great. Uh, and he may be kind of uh, 
this guy might be a little upset because he might be getting knocked out of a potential top three or top five. I don't know. He's still pretty awesome. But there's a wave one, Army Builder, and here is Lexion again. And of course, they scale beautifully. They look amazing together. So I don't know, but I do have a feeling there's going to be at least a couple AWOC figures in my top 10 of the year. Lexion is beautiful. Now, here's another Army Builder, which really, really looks super cool. I haven't even done anything with this figure yet except take him out of the package. Uh, so this is basically exactly how he looks coming out of the package. I'm trying to get him to stand because, again, I haven't done anything with him yet. So this is Onyx. Uh, this is, I guess, you know, a Panther, Puma, Cougar, whatever you want to call it. And I got this one instead of the uh, Core Dune. So again, if I show you Core Dune here, okay. So uh, this is, you know, um, House Feralis. Uh, this is like, a, a, again, like a Puma, Cougar kind of thing. And uh, it looks cool. I was just trying to not spend like literally $500 on these guys. Um, so I only spent like, I think 300 or 350 instead of 500, but I just like this one better. Like the, the black paint, I just, I don't, it's so shiny. It just looks so cool. And you know, the face with the blue eyes. Um, wow. This is a cool figure. Um, so again, this is just one of the basic figures, uh, one of the army builder types, okay? So an army builder for House Feralis. All he comes with are his hands. It doesn't mean weapons or armor. So here are the hands. But I mean, you can outfit this guy with all kinds of stuff, you know? And, uh, you know, you can even use like some pieces from other lines. Um, I, would, I would think like probably like Masters of the Universe Origins. You can use some of those kind of barbarian type armors to put on there. And um, he just looks great. So really, really love this one. And if you want to see what he looks like alongside another AWOC figure, here is Kali. He is the main antagonist, the main villain. And I actually took the cape off that he came with. And this is a, a Super 7 um, Ultimates Shredder cape. Um, so again, you can use accessories and, and clothes and you can use stuff from other figures and it just goes amazingly with these guys. So really, really cool. I just, I just cannot say enough how much I love these figures. They are so cool. All right. So next is going to have to be the big boy. Um, so big boy Thane, if I can pick him up and not hurt myself, and I'm curious about how he's going to stand because he has kind of little legs and he's a big giant figure. So now this is right out of the package. I haven't messed with him or anything. So let's see if I could get him. Uh, yeah. So the elbows are single jointed. I'm trying to get him kind of balanced out here so he can actually stand because as you can imagine, He's very top heavy. Let's see. There we go. Got it. Yeah, he is very thick, very heavy. Um, wow. What what a big, just thick boy. <laughs> so shoulder goes up and bicep turns. It's very, very tight. So might need some heating up here. Single jointed elbows and there it goes, all right? He's got his big old shiny armors here. Um, this armor is totally removable and wow, okay. So you can hear the ab crunch, <laughs> the ratchet and the ab crunch is super, super loud. Waist does turn. Uh, yeah, so he's got the hips in there. I don't know if he has a thigh twist, probably not because he doesn't have much of a thigh. And I think, oh no, there is a thigh twist in here. So if you look, I don't know if I can get it to actually twist, but it is in there. Um, and then the knee is single jointed and the knee turns as well. So it does look like you actually have, is it a thigh cut? I, I can't really tell. Yeah, there is a thigh cut. Yep, a thigh cut and the knee turns and, and twists. So yeah, lots of articulation, even though he's a big boy. 
just amazing. Um, so the head is a little bit loose, but the head also pops right off. So there you go. This is the head he comes with on him, which looks cool, but he also comes with this head sculpt, which look at this. He's got like a like a Spartan like battle helmet on and I am pretty sure this is how I'm going to pose my thing because if I can get the head on without having to heat it up, I'm trying here, but I don't think I'm be able to get it back on. Yeah, it's going to need some heat. I got it like halfway on, so I'm just going to leave it because I just want to see how cool this guy looks with this head. So it's not all the way on. It may fall off, but it's still good enough for what I'm trying to do. So there you go. That is Big Boy Thane. Here are his hands. So even though he's a big, giant, heavy figure, he still comes with fists and open hands as well as the gripping hands. And the weapon that he comes with is this giant, heavy hammer. This thing is amazing. So if I grab, let's grab my boy Lexion. Here is Lexion next to Thane. Here is Thane's hammer next to Lexion. So the hammer is almost as tall as a regular figure. And we're back. <laughs> so I had to, uh, I was having some issues there with Mr. Thane here. So I had to, uh, you know, do some moving around uh, to get him to stand uh, a lot more sturdy. I also got his head all the way on. So here we go, uh, comparing Thane to a custom figure that I painted. Uh, so this is the uh, DC Multiverse uh, Grodd figure. So this is the Gorilla Grodd that was put out by McFarland Toys probably about a year and a half ago. and. I repainted this guy. Uh, I did a video on him. I've actually done probably a couple of videos with this broad figure. Um, so I added a lot of paint to the armor. Uh, I even painted, uh, you know, the cape, uh, a red. Um, just, I don't need to get into it, but the figure before was, uh, it was something. Um, but I have definitely, just made this figure part of my AWOC display. Um, as you can see with my metallic paint apps and everything, and the size is very comparable. Um, he's only, he's a little taller because his legs are a little longer. Um, but I mean, just look at this. So it's another fantastic example of how you can mix other lines in with the AWOC figures and it works perfect. So if we have my custom grod and the thing, and if we take somebody like Pale and put him with them, I mean, that looks great. I mean, the grod figure looks like it fits in perfectly fine. Um, the articulation, of course, is not as good. The style is a little tiny bit different, but it works. Like he works as just kind of like a guerrilla soldier guy. Um, yeah, so Thane, super big and heavy. It may take you some doing getting him to stand just right because he is his proportions, you know, he's very, very top heavy, not a lot going on in the knees and the legs. So just be aware, it might take you a little bit of doing to get Thane exactly how you want him to be. But once you do, he looks amazing. All right, so let's get these big boys out of here because we have one more figure to look at. And I think it's gonna be a lot of people's favorite of the wave. And that is, of course, Vero Atlas, the white tiger, the, um, I guess we could call him a sorcerer or magician. And if I can just get him, there we go. So this is the Kickstarter exclusive. Down he goes. 
Uh, I haven't messed with them yet, so I haven't, you know, done any of the articulation. So same kind of articulation that we're used to, really, really good with the head and neck. Shoulders go out, and he doesn't have any shoulder armor, so there's absolutely nothing hindering his shoulders at all. This, uh, you know, uh, sash belt, which does have weapon storage, woohoo, love weapon storage. That is, of course, removable. I may... I may take this off. I'm not sure. I kind of maybe want him to be bare chested because that white is just really, really just stands out. Um, so yeah, we got the ratcheted ab crunch. We got the waist twist. We've got the awesome double jointed knees that are super sturdy. And yeah, he looks really cool. He's a little bit more minimal in terms of, um, you know, the, the armor. But it works for him. Now I'm going to get his feet squared away here off camera so we can actually get him to stand up nice and straight. There we go. Just needed some foot adjustment. And of course, I have got to get Tiberius out of here if I can reach him and not knock anyone over. So here is. Tiberius alongside Bureau Atlas. Tiberius is our regular tiger, and Bureau Atlas is our white tiger, and you can see they look amazing. Now, I'm not going to go dig out any of my Thundercats figures, but I kind of have a feeling that Bureau Atlas alongside Bengali, uh, that's going to be cool. So, there you go. There is our amazing Bureau Atlas, Kickstarter exclusive, White Tiger. He comes with, of course, same sets of hands as everybody. So open hands, fist, and he's got gripping hands. And I'm not sure exactly. We got like an extra bit here. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. So here is his magician staff, which looks so freaking cool. It's got like this like gem on it. And oddly enough, he came with this in a separate little baggie in his package. So this looks like a, like a spear extender. Um, and But this doesn't have anything to take off. So I'm not sure, not sure why we have this extra piece. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's that. We have this, oh, you know what? Maybe this does pop off. No, I don't think so. All right, so that's that. Really, really cool spear. He also has this awesome sword. Very, very nice. He's got this like, you know, really, really cool looking gun. Uh, this, it reminds me of something and I just don't know. It, it, oh, steampunk, I think is what I was thinking of. Like this gun makes me think of like steampunk kind of things. Probably won't pose this with him, but maybe I'll find another use for it. But this is what I really love. This axe. You can see that I have Tiberius holding the gold one. So him holding this one, just, wow, super, super cool. So there we have it. Uh, let me see if I can get at least the regular figures up here. So absolutely love Bureau Atlas. Really, really love Lexion. Here is Ash again alongside Lexion. Here is Onyx next to Bureau Atlas. And then my favorite from wave one, we'll bring in the for a Ravager again. Just look at that. Absolutely amazing. These figures are super, super cool. Um, and there you go. So I would highly recommend the AWOC figure line if you were not part of the Kickstarter, if you had never heard of them before. Um, do a little bit more research. Uh, they are available on the uh, Sparrow Toys website. So I don't know if the website is actually on any of the boxes, 
But if you just Google uh, Spiro Toys, so S-P-E-R-O Toys, all you have to do is Google it. And uh, let's see. Here we go. So there it is. You've got the address, the Facebook, the Instagram, the website. Buy these figures. If you are a fan of six inch, highly articulated action figures, if you collect Marvel, DC, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, um, even Motu, Super 7 Ultimate, Star Wars, I mean, these guys fit in absolutely anywhere. Or you can just get the comic books, read the comic books, and go with the actual mythology. Um, but yeah, these guys are just really, really cool. And uh, I love these figures. So highly recommend them. Please let me know what you think of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Feel free to like and subscribe and have a good one. All right, everybody, so I figured it out. Uh, this is not a sword. I thought this was a sword that comes with Bureau Atlas, but it has got a hole in the bottom. So the part that I couldn't figure out why he came with it's not a sword, it's a spear. So, my bad. <laughs>